Thanks for watching this Mapbox how-to video. In this video, I will show you how to use the Mapbox sequential location map component for Framer X to add a custom map experience with a sequence of multiple locations to your designs and prototypes in Framer. And with this component, you can control when and how your user travels between the locations you include in your sequence. So let's get started. You can install the Mapbox component in the Framer X store. Just search for Mapbox and click install. And when you go to components, you'll see sequential location map here. So let's add a frame. Draw frame and under components, drag sequential location map to your frame. And there's your map. You can move it and resize it any way that you like. And we have a list of core styles here for you to choose from. And if you want to get rid of this watermark or use a designer style or a custom style, you will need to upload your access token. And that's easy to get. Just copy this link, go to a web browser, paste that in, log into your Mapbox account, and here's your access token. Copy, back in Framer, paste that in. Now under Map Style, we have a list of designer styles to choose from. And if you want to use a custom style, choose custom and you will need your style URL. So back in Mapbox Studio, let's go to studio. That's studio.mapbox.com and we're in the styles section. And my custom style is the style that I would like to use. So click on share and use, use, scroll down. And here's my style URL, copy back in Framer, paste that in. And there's my custom style. So now let's tell Framer which locations we want in our sequence. To do that, expand the code section and we need to upload a .tsx file. So click on new file. And in order to know what to put here, you could write code, but you can also go to the Mapbox readme component in the Framer X and copy the text here. So if you scroll down under sequential locations map, we have code here that you can use. So just copy that and paste it in and click save. And this is app.tsx. And so under locations, you can see that we have one, two, three, four steps in our sequence. First, we have a latitude and longitude and we are setting our bearing, our pitch and our zoom. And then our second step is to change the zoom from 11 to 13. Then we're changing our pitch and then our bearing and then the sequence is done. So if we want to add another location, just copy this line, add a new line, and let's change this longitude. So we'll start out in this location, then we'll go to this location, and then we'll zoom in, change the pitch and then bearing. So let's save this. Back in Framer X, choose our app file, and under override, choose camera move sequence. And if you ever want to edit this app.tsx file, you can do that here, edit app.tsx. So now let's customize how our sequence executes. We can change whether the location is true or false on this map, and we can change how long the sequence lasts, the fly duration, and this is in microseconds. So we can go up to 10 seconds here. And then you can also set the autoplay to true or false. So once you start previewing, it will start playing automatically. If you have it set to true, if it's false, then you'll have to click the frame in order for it to move through the sequence. So let's click true and you can set your delay. That's also in microseconds and also choose how many times you want the sequence to repeat. So let's see what that looks like. Let's preview. We're starting in one location, going to the next location, zooming in, changing our pitch and our bearing. And now we're starting over one more time. First location, second location, zooming in, changing our pitch and our bearing. And the sequence is over. So there you go. And now you know how to Use a Mapbox sequential location map component for Framer X. Thanks for using Mapbox and keep building.